Hey, what's going on, guys? Mike Patrick. I want to do a quick video here. I want to reinforce something that I talked about a while ago, maybe over a year ago now. I realized that people who may recently come across my channel, you know, uh, a lot of times people do not necessarily go back in the archives to see some of the older videos that people do. Okay, so sometimes every now and then it's a good idea to just, like I said, reinforce some of the things that you went over in the past. And some of the information is information that's not commonly talked about. It's not things that you can easily come across. Like if you go and watch TV, right, you can come across celebrities and entertainment of that form. And you can come across things like sports quite easily. So these things are constantly put in your face and given attention to. So it's easy to pick up on those things really easily. But the topic I'm about to talk about is one of those things where you kind of got to go seek it out or you're probably not going to just come across the information. So it's the type of information that either way it does need to be constantly reinforced, constantly repetitively gone over until it sticks. All right. Plus, I'm going to explain it in a way that is going to it's going to be a little different than how I explained it before. So for people, everybody, people learn differently. So if something doesn't resonate or if you're not able to comprehend something one way, you know, it may make more sense if it's explained a different kind of way. All right, now, so with all that out the way, right, I'm going to talk about horizontal gene transfer. Now, this piggybacks off of a video I did a while ago talking about microRNAs. Also, a video I did titled Food is Information. DNA communication. Now, horizontal gene transfer is the scientific fact that certain living organisms are, are likely and are capable of extracting DNA from one living organism and transferring it to its own DNA, okay? And absorbing that information downloading that information if that makes sense so there's a really good video like on YouTube where it shows this back this very you know it's a bacteria so it's, it's microscopic you need like a uh, microscope to be able to see the bacteria and to see its behavior but what it did was it reached out and grabbed a piece of uh, really it grabbed a piece of another bacteria and then pretty much assimilated it into itself all right and it took on that the DNA of the bacteria that was foreign to it okay and it, it made it made it part of itself all right and it took on the information of that other bacteria now that's just that's pretty stuff like that is kind of fascinating to me all right so for example how, how can how this works what's a practical way of looking at this let's say let's say someone is allergic to something we kind of do this with our immune system let's say someone's allergic to something and whatever you're allergic to let's say there's some type of animal that is immune to whatever you are allergic to and so you take a piece of the dna of that animal just to be simple i'm just you know you take a piece of the DNA of that animal, replicate it, infuse it to your DNA somehow. So you can just, let's say you capsulated the DNA, it was in a pill. You took the pill, you know, that latches onto your DNA, becomes part of your DNA. Now you have the immunity to whatever that disease or that, that illness is that the other animal was immune to, if that makes sense. All right. So the point is, everything is communication. All right. Everything is communication. And this is the way that you have to look at it when you take on anything. When you eat food. All right. Because now I'm going to transition into food, like I always, like I talk about often. All right. Don't just look at food as just something that you're eating just to make your stomach feel full. Okay. 
look at it like information what type of information are you putting into your body i don't care how much it's appealing to your senses because for example a lot of us smoke right now we all know it's depending on what you're smoking i think everybody who's say for example now once again this is going to be one of the things that's not to offend anybody but i think most people who smoke cigarettes know that it's probably not the best thing for them from a health standpoint but you know cigarettes you know it's, it's a tough monkey to get off your back you know and uh, the thing about it is, if you you know you smoke cigarettes, you know you know it's not necessarily the healthiest thing, you know. And uh, so it's it's the same thing with with your food though. With with food, you know, like this is an orange, okay? This has information, and this has DNA, and this is a living thing, okay? This is a living food, all right? So this has DNA. This is this has all the the components of life, water. Okay, vitamins, minerals, all right? And that's all from a, just a physical standpoint, a material standpoint. But also this has this food. You notice when you eat, if you eat, if when you, once you start becoming more sensitive to things like this, when you do start cleaning up your diet, or if you already have started cleaning up your diet, you'll start noticing little subtleties in life, okay? And so you'll notice when you eat food like this, okay, you're, you do have a, it's an energetic high, okay, or it makes you feel better. It supports, it supports well-being, a sense of well-being, right? Because now that's a, that's a frequency thing, okay? It's because you're eating high vibrational food. It's like you notice when you eat certain other foods, it brings you down. If you pay attention to these types of things, it brings you down. It might taste, it might taste good for a second. It might taste good while you eat it. You know, but it may bring you down, may make you feel sluggish, tired. Now, some foods do have certain chemicals in it that make you do that anyway, like tryptophan and stuff like that. Like when you eat turkey, and different poultries and stuff. So, and I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about even just mentally, emotionally. Okay, you eat certain foods, and then you 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 may wonder if you pay attention to stuff like this. You may wonder why you you know you may feel a little down and out at shortly after you eat those foods and then in certain foods when you start eating them you know it gives you a jolt it gives you a boost and not an artificial boost not a stimulant like say caffeine okay and caffeine has its purposes but i'm just saying we know that's a that's a stimulant that's going to make give you energy and make you feel you know like you got energy but i'm talking about a different type of energy when you eat like a raw living food so horizontal drink gene transfer like i got an orange here got an apple here kiwi and then I got a couple peppers here okay a lot of vitamin C think about your peppers too guys you know try to eat the orange ones and the red ones there's nothing wrong with the green a lot of chlorophyll but the more you let them mature the peppers are the same um, it's just at the earliest stages it's green then I believe it turns I believe once they yellow orange then red and once it matures to the point where they're red they have more vitamin C in them okay but horizontal gene transfer, okay? You're getting all that good information. And then what happens is over time, you know, your cells replace themselves. Like I want to say like every month almost. A lot of you, most of your cells uh, replace themselves like every month. I mean your atoms, okay? The atoms, which is a smaller component of the cell. But um, they replace themselves like every month, okay? So what happens is you start eating good foods once it, over a certain amount of time, if you can be disciplined and stick with it, you know, a certain amount of time, you're going to become a new person. Your atoms replace themselves, and what they replace themselves with is the physical material, the things that you put into your body. So imagine atoms, that's, it's just like a car. Imagine a car that's made out of steel, and then imagine a car that's made out of straw, okay? So you want your atoms composed of the best materials, all right? So horizontal gene transfer, guys, look into it, and that's like a basic rundown, just a way to kind of get people thinking about how... Um, how they they eat and what they put into their body okay have you thinking about it differently especially for younger children because you know the younger you are you just want to eat what tastes good you don't think of it that way like what am i putting into my body what type of fuel am i putting into my body okay because it's not just from an energetic standpoint but we know like i said this is these this is the material that you're going to use to reconstruct yourself all right so over years if you're just putting these certain types of food too much of bad materials in your body then then we wonder why earlier than it has to happen why we can start breaking down and getting sick and not getting the the, the most out of ourselves physically 
you know, well, you know, look at what the materials you're giving yourself to build yourself, to rebuild yourself, okay? All right, guys, peace.